it, it's called hunting for a reason. It's not called shooting, it's not called killing. It's called hunting. how old Africa was and how big it was and what we were going to be seeing here. We got so, so excited about the terrain, the animals we were going to see, and I was really excited for Phil. Um, this is a trip of a lifetime, a big adventure for him, and uh, we have been just, been, we couldn't wait to get here to experience this. I thought I had, I thought I had an idea of what to expect, but you never really know what a place is like until you finally arrive, and it's, a, it's exceeded expectations. I mean, it's a beautiful country. And now that we've arrived, <coughs> The lodge is lovely, the sunset beautiful, now we're getting ready to sit and have a lovely meal. Our accommodations are exquisite. just exquisite, it is very, very sweet, very cozy. Now we're sitting by a fire that we're going to get to enjoy and we may even have a little snow tonight. We have a cold front coming in so we're really excited, it's going to be a lot of fun.
on the point of the shoulder. Yes. That's when you told me, right? Yep. Okay. So, it's just he's a good old thing. He's just a bit unique in that he's got a bit of white there on it. They normally let you can see he's got this big old heavy good mask, cracked up bosses. And they look at you like that, they you know, turn outside the ears, then you know you've got a hell of a perfect. That's what he is. Sneak one in if you can now. There you stand perfectly. Peter. Over. Over? Yeah. Yeah, hopefully, you know, we'll go a bit closer. Hopefully, you're going to lie down there in that shade there. I'm pretty sure he's going to go down there. I'll jump in there, Look at that man, he's a beautiful, this is our national animal. So they're not the biggest thing but they are beautiful and when the comb stands up and when they jump, my dad used to tell us that's where the bees lay their eggs. Bees lay their eggs? Really? No, my dad <laughs> Sweet, sweet, sweet human. And so this is what's called the comb. And when they see danger or something then they jump and they stand it up like it. And it warns everybody it warns else. Everybody else. Can make a sound. You're a very nice one. I'm very pleased. We're not tough to get, and they're hard to kill. And that's a great one. Thank you. Well done. Put it there.
So we just lift all these horns but lower down. That finished him. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to live, didn't he? <laughs> uh, we've had a hard day today. <laughs> That's the end of the party. Let's go see. Okay, so yeah, we have a incredibly good red harder beast, a really old guy with a dark red colour and the classic heart-shaped horns with long kicks going back. He gave us a bit of a run around the, the second fastest antelope in Africa and for good reason. Um, made a good shot on the first one, he just didn't want to sort of cooperate, so we had to just run him down a little bit. Um, but fortunately, we had eyes on him the whole time, and in these trees here, they can get away. We, we managed just to keep someone with a, a visual on him, and the dog didn't do much, it chased the other one, so that was no good. But um, it's last light here, it's starting to get cold quickly. But we've got a hell of a trophy for the day, and we can go and take him and put him in the salt bin. And it wouldn't have been possible if Ed hadn't run like a damn gazelle over these mountains to keep track of the animal, I can tell you that for sure. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well done, man. That's a hell of a <laughs>
so sad. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't going to get up and walk off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful animal. Thanks, Ed. Yeah, they're smooth and silky, these things. Have you done that? all in four of this. Oh, yo. He's worn lots down on him.
this is our second trip to Africa with uh, uh, John or Juan or Flaky, whatever his name is. <laughs> and uh, it was quite an experience. We uh, put a lot of pressure on Juan. Uh, being it was our second uh, safari to Africa, we wanted specific animals and they called me two inches bigger, you know, so put a lot of stress on the PHs. But uh, uh, the whole experience uh, exceeded my expectations. Um, we uh, took a large sable, uh, terrible weather, and that really uh, tells you what a great job one does. Um, he make sure you don't waste any days. Uh, he has so many connections. We moved to five different camps uh, for specific animals and basically the weather determined when we were able to hunt. I have been so impressed with all of the animals that we have seen and that they run so freely in their habitats. I mean, we have seen, it's not like a zoo. Uh, you know, we had no idea of what we were gonna be seeing. But we drive through and you see some of the most incredible animals. Things that you just, you know, rhinos, you know, giraffes. But it was exhilarating. It was so much fun. Um, there were, you know, old dwellings that were probably great stories. So I enjoyed the uh, getting to go out with Phil and watch him, you know, shoot the animals. Um, I know it's a management. It's, I understand it completely as a scientist. So, um, and I know that it all goes back to the community and it helps the people of South Africa. And uh, I know it's been, you know, a trip of a lifetime for him. This, this was an absolutely extraordinary, life-fulfilling event. And I can't wait to repeat it. An array of culture, animals, people. And I'll tell you, the Afrikaans are, they're, they're like Texas people. They think a lot like we do act like we do, they, you know, other than their accent, they're a lot like us. Really That's what hunting is, is to try to find the animal, track the animal, stalk the animal, and make a good shot. And uh, it's been a wonderful experience for me. Uh, going to do it again. I wish I'd have started this when I was 40, but I just, for some reason or other, there's other things I wanted to do, and this got, this was just uh, not a, on my bucket list, but it's on my bucket list now. I'm going to come back again next year and uh, probably shoot. A, I didn't get a kudu. Uh, Ed, a very good professional. Very, I can't speak highly enough of, of him. He only wants older, mature animals taken out of the herd, and uh, I, I like that. It's just not no matter. Hey, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the hunter bag out. Uh, you have to work at it, and that's part of the experience, I think. It was great, and the like Mars said, the camaraderie, and everybody was so friendly, and the dogs running in and out. It's a home. I loved it.